is the day? Tuesday. Tuesday. Monday, Sunday, Saturday, Friday. Said, look here, do you know that we've been walking for four days? You heard what that judge said. Get out of town and keep walking. Yeah, I done walked so much till the misery in my feet done backed up to my stomach. Oh, now you go talking about your stomach again. Yeah, well, my stomach is talking to me for four days. Don't you know that I'm hungry? Ain't you never heard what the good book said? Man don't live with bread alone. Yeah, man don't live without bread alone either. I've been drinking so much water that my stomach think I'm taking in washing. Uh, the trouble with you is your brains is in your stomach. Yeah? Is that what's been growling? Boy, you bore me. Why don't you lift your mind out of your stomach and feast on the beauties of nature? Look at them rolling hills and that grassy valley. And look at them fleecy clouds just fleeced along there. And look at them big, beautiful rocks with the red sort of running into the browns and the browns just melting into the green. Just look. I can't eat none of them. The trouble with you is you ain't got no soul. Is you telling me? Got nothing to worry about. I'm gonna get us a good job. Us. Don't I always? What was the matter with that last job we had? The last job that we had? You mean the last job that I had? I done all the digging. Sure you done all the digging. Anybody can dig, but what would have happened if I wasn't there with my brains to boss the job? Suppose you got over ambitious, lost control of yourself, and just kept on digging and digging and digging. Fifty. 60, 100 feet, while well, you liable to go on digging and come out on the other side of the world, in China. Then you is in a mess. You can't speak Chinese? Uh-oh, I'd have stopped way before that. All right, then you stop. Then where is you? You're in a hole. And how you gonna get out if I ain't on top to get you out? That's right. Sure, that's right. But let's forget all about that and look to the future. All right. The next job we get is gonna be a white color job. Uh, like a lawyer, doctor, judge. Which kind of job would you, would you like me to pick for you? Or any job, I don't care, just so we get something to eat. I just want to find out how food tastes once more. Now, that's a job. You hit it. Hit what? Food taster. Now, what is that? Well, a food taster, he's a man what sits in a big overstuffed chair with a big spoon in one hand and a fork in the other. You know how them cans run on them belts before they put the tops on them? No, I don't know. Well, a food taster, he sits. And when them cans pass him, he's got to taste each one of them. First comes a can of soup. Lots of tomato soup, chicken soup, and turtle soup. And following that comes cans of beans. And following that comes along the cans of ham and chicken with the gravy running clear back to the kitchen. After that comes the dessert, such as canned peaches, canned prunes, canned pineapples, and even canned plum pudding. And he's got to do that all day, except for the hour he takes off for lunch. Now, how would you crave a job like that? Yeah, what's the matter with you? <laughs> In adjusting. Brother Blake, that sign, sanitarium, and country club is a very good non diplomy But you ain't fooling nobody. You remember what the great emancipator said? You can fool some of the people lots of the time, and lots of the people parts of the time. But you can't fool no politician at no time. You said it, brother. They've got eyes in the back of their heads and ears all over their faces. And palms that's always itching. Here. 
Yes, sir. Unfortunate for you, you was right. But this will do a heap of scratching and do you a lot of good. Brother, I've been done good for a long time. I've got to go to work. Get out of here. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. What, do you, what do you mean, uh-oh? Oh. So how come all the towns that we pass has got the same name? Same name? What are you talking about? Every town that we passed for the last four days is named Gauslau. Now look here, here comes another Gauslau. Gauslau? Why you seeing a Gauslau? Yeah, here it is right over there. See it there? That ain't Gauslau. That reads go slow. Sure enough? Sure. Anybody knows that. One day I got to take time off and learn you something. You is one of them close together readers. Yeah? Yeah. Gauslau. Over here, come on. There it is. Hey. Now look, now you go on the inside and get the chicken. I'll stay on the outside. If anybody asks any questions, I'll tell them I'm a chicken inspector and you is my assistant looking for a parasite. Looking for what? Go on, go on, get the chicken. I, I, I'll explain to you later. Go ahead. Go on, go on. You think? Don't you know? Yes, sir, I knows. You knows what? I knows we know a lot of gas, I think. Oh. Now, look at here. Is we is or is we ain't out of gas? Yes. Yes, which? We is. Well, well, don't stand there sure. like a dummy. Get 40 or 50 gallons. 40 or 50 gallons? Yes, we don't want to run out anymore. I can carry 40 or 50 gallons. Who said you should carry it? Push it up here. Roll it up here. But don't bother me with small details. Go get it. That's 40 or 50 gallons. So what's the matter, Mr. Yard again? Shut up! Put it down, my foot, boy. I've got your stretch out of leave. Okay. Show the dumb trick of that guy running out of gas way out here. Oh, sure is. Do you see what I see? I ain't seen that many clothes on two people in a long time. I wonder if they got the folding money what goes with them clothes. I wonder. Get hot, baby. I got some work I want you to do. Well, Dawson, I hear something. Me too, Bob Brown. Well, you just do what I want you to do, that's all. Ah. <laughs> Boy. Ah. <laughs> I'll catch him, that's what I'll do. Well, excuse me, gentlemen, I didn't see y'all. Two sevens in a row. You're pretty good. 
Bet they can't do that again. Uh, is you talking money or just conversation? <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> I like up to my talking. Uh, would you like to join the conversation, brother? Oh, I don't mind speaking a word or two. Well, you gentlemen sure carrying around a pocket full of wood. Yes, sir. That's the loudest, quiet talk I ever saw. Go ahead. Let me see you do it again. Go ahead. Uh, do it again? Do it again. <laughs> Baby, they don't believe you. Come on, show them in your own language. Oh, Go on to get them, Wally. Go on to get them. What do do? <laughs> Go on. It did it again, didn't it? Darn if it did. Would you gentlemen care to continue the conversation? I'll take half of it. Come on. Hey, but put it right on. Shoot, shoot, baby. Put shoot. it right on the wallet. Put, put, put your foot on the wallet. Don't let it go away. Yeah. Come on. Shoot, shoot. Go ahead. Shoot. Hold well, it. Don't let your foot You can't do it again. Go ahead. Who can't do it you again? Can't. Don't you can't. Hey, you're a bit Make that A. Ain't from the king. Make that A. You're a man. Make it. Make it. Make it. You're going to make it wallet? Make it. Make it. Make it. Make it back. Two folds on it. Two in it. Let me see them. They're all right. The dice is all right. It's just a language you speak of. That's all. Is that right, Wally? They're all right. They're all right. Come on. What? 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 You hold the shooting now. I'm shooting all. I don't want nothing. Come on. Let it go. Let it go. I got half of it. What? That? That? Hold your foot on the wall. Shoot. Be with me. Come on. Come on, baby. Now is the time to do your stuff. Roll. You. There it is. Can you imagine that? Ain't you just looking at me? Just get on and shoot the guy. What? Give me some of it. Just get on it. Go ahead, shoot. No, you can't do it. Don't miss him. This is I'm got to get out here and talk to him. That's him. Come on. Wait, get that stuff. Crack you. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Roll him out, then. That's all you got to do. Roll him out. Come on. 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 Look at that. What's the shoot now? Tim. Huh? What's the shoot? What's the shoot? What's the makeup? I'm making for what you got there. Oh, come on. Let it go. Let's tell. You can't let it go. Come on. 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 Come Dr. Judas Blake Sanitarium and Country Club. No, sound bad. Uh, you think you'd like it, Jefferson? Is it high class and all that sort of stuff, my man? Yes, sir. Nothing else but. Suits me. Continue, lad. Continue. Just come in. So what are you doing there? I got my fingers stuck in the sand. 
<clears throat> well, how come you do that? I didn't do nothing but just put it in there just like this and... Oh, look at here. Ain't this a shame? Now look at that. You just get caught in there again. Don't you make that a shame? Come on, help me with this thing. I don't know. You don't think there's the police, do you? No. They look like ready money to me. Well, in that case, I'd better extend the hand of welcome. That's right. Come oh. Look here, how did this get in here? I ain't got a shame on nothing. I just got the thing right away. Dr. Blake, this is Mr. Jefferson. How do you do, sir? Glad to meet you, sir. And Mr. Eggs. Uh, how do you... Oh, Mr. Eggs, the funny things you do. Mm. Oh, did you hurt yourself? I sure did. Show you boys around the club? Why, well, certainly. What can we lose? Well, that depends on Lady Luck. Come along. <laughs> well, Brother Blackstone, did you fix it? Well, uh, yes and no. What do you mean, yes or no? Well, just a minute. I'm going to tell you. I think we'd better have a little conference. Don't sound so good, but come into my office. Now, look at here. Every time I see you, you cost me money. I've been writing you checks and checks and checks until I got writer's cramps in both hands. It's beginning to me to look like blackmail. That's a nasty word you use there, Brother Blake. I was run out of soft words, and that's the only one I know that fits the situation. Every time I see you, you want money. You's going to be the camel that breaks the straw. I mean the straw that breaks the camel or something. Now, wait a minute. Don't let your liver get you in an uproar. Sit down. Ain't no use you... Sit down! Now, you listen to me. Where would you be if the police came in here and raided you? Where would you be if they put handcuffs on you and took you away? I'll tell you where you'd be. On the inside of a jailhouse looking out. That's where you'd be. But are you there? No. Why ain't you there? On the count of me. That's why. And nobody but me. And you have the audacity and magnanimosity to call it blackmail. Well, I call it friendship. Financial friendship. Brother Brick. I can see that our friendship and business dealings is coming to an end. Goodbye. Now, Brother Blackstone, just a minute there. Just a minute there. Now, let's don't do nothing too hasty. After all, we've been friends for years. Yes, but this time you hurt me to the quickstone. Well, maybe. Maybe I did have a slip of the tongue, but you know, a slip of the tongue is no fault of the mind. You know that. Now, come on and have a cigar. It'll help to decompose your nerves. Oh, yeah, you feel better, Brother Blackstone. Well, brother, now that you see the light, 
I want you to know that you've nothing to worry about. You see, I handle the things, providing I got the things to handle things with. Excuse me. Daniel! What's the trouble, boss? Remove that. Honey, what's the matter? You ain't jealous, are you? No, I ain't jealous. But I ain't gonna stand for nobody getting fresh with you. Except me. Say, what's the matter with you? Are you crazy? What did you do that for? Didn't you see him fussing around with me? Oh, honey, he wasn't bothering me. Shut your mouth. Certainly he was bothering you. And he was bothering me because he's bothering you. You gonna keep this up and you'll ruin our business. Well, I ain't gonna stand for our business. What do you mean, our business? Well, I'm connected with it, uh indirectly, and you got me worried. Suppose you hit somebody so hard that you killed them, and they died. Even as chairman of the investigating committee, I couldn't square that. That's right, honey, he's right. Shut your mouth. Go get to work and do your singing or whatever you're going to do. Answer me, where would you be? Never mind where I would be. I was right here now. And as long as I was here, ain't nobody going to get fresh with my gal. Run along, get out of here. No, sir. I do no such a thing. I'm going to stay right with you until your temper gets down to zero. Now be a good little boy and go home. Is everything all right, Mr. X? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Mighty fine. Mighty fine. Mighty fine place you got here. Go up your honey and have yourself something. Money ain't no item with us, is it? No, 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 no. Having time now, I gotta sing a song. Fine, sing one for me. Well, while you're singing. Thank you. Swear out one now for me, too. Oh, Mr. Hicks, I got a little something for you. Yes, sir. Well, I'm going to have to get you something. All right, boys, give me that to, if anybody cares. Hit it. Boy, look, look, look. Just, just, just look, just look. Keep it up, boy. 
Give it up, you got him. Really stick it. 
There is? Sure. And I was just warming up that crap game of yours. Well, that's different, honey. I apologize to you. Don't be apologizing to me. You better go out to apologize to them. Maybe I'd better. Guess I will. That's what I'll do. Come on, gentlemen. Oh, what's the use talking anyway? Come on, let's get out of here. Yes, Jeff, this place is not good enough for us anyway. Come on, let's go. Now, now, wait a minute, uh, gentlemen. Just wait a minute. Hey, just take take the the hey wait a minute. Stand back. Hey! Good. Did, did I do that? Well, good gracious for me. I ain't that something. Here's to friendship that comes the hard way. <laughs> oh, glad to <laughs> You read about that. Yes, sir, let gone by be gone by. <laughs> Say, you know something? For a little guy, you show sure pack a big wallet. What was that to you, your Sunday punch? Oh, that was my Wednesday punch. A bunch of lilies goes with my Sunday punch right there. <laughs> <laughs> How much are you there, sister? Oh, put that away. All of this is on me. Sorry, gentlemen, you is both wrong. This is on the house. Your money is no good here. No good here? That's right. I can tell you where you can use it. Hmm? Where? There. Mmm, sister, now you are speaking my language. What have we been waiting for? Come on and lead the way. I never heard. I've been waiting for this place. Come on, Jeff. Yeah, come, boy. Yeah, come. Yee! Yeah, come on. Pay me off. Pay me off there. All right, what's the shooting? Let it ride. Come on, Jeff. Hop on this gravy train. It's leaving. I let him roll. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Don't miss it. Heaven. Hot dog. Now we getting warm. <laughs> go. All right, what's your bet? Let it ride. Come on, throw the dice at it. You can hold them now. Come on, boys. All of y'all get on this. Let's make it a big excuse. Boy, is he hot. Come Eight. on, dice. 7-11. Use your own judgment. Ah. 11. Ah. 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 Adam here. Dice, you sure use your judgment that time. <laughs> I'll take over. Come on, go on. Let me see those dice. Show sure, that is right there. Mm. Uh, what's the matter, mister? Don't you trust your own dice? Yeah. But use these. Uh-oh. These babies is cool. Got to warm them up a little. <laughs> well, yeah, baby. Bet these on me and keep me lucky. Well, I got to warm these. Go on and bend it. Money in your pocket don't grow like hair on your head. Go ahead and bend it. That's it, baby. Come on, stop holding up the game. Shoot. Don't do, do, do the rush him. He's got his own technique. Well, here I go. <laughs> Get him this time, Jim. Don't grab The point is for little Joe. Boy, that was close. Mammy needs a new hat and baby needs shoes. Show it to him the hard way. Give me two twos. Pour it in. <laughs> what did I tell you, honey? <laughs> Didn't I tell you that? If you stick with me, you wear diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> Am I dead or am I alive? If I'm dead, here I am. And if I'm alive, where am I? Feet, can you move? Because if I try and you don't, then I know I'm dead. Well, here I go. Give me the answer. much longer. You said it, brother. I haven't had any sleep since I opened that place. I told Ezra what would happen 
if he left the place to that no good nephew of ours, jitterbugging, jiving, and hullabalooing. Get all this up here. Something got to be done about it. Come in. Come in, nothing. Come up here quick, Ezra. What's the matter? What's the matter? What are you folks doing up here? You ain't changed a bit. You can still sleep through anything. Don't you hear that noise? Yeah, it is again, ain't it? Yes, and something got to be done. It's your house, Ezra. You got to do something about it. Go on over there and hush him up. Where do I get my hat? You know you ain't got no hat. Get along. Wait a minute. Look there. Where'd you come from? You don't belong here. You tell me. Go on, get along, Ezra. All right, I'm going. All right. Oh, what, what's my point? What? what what's that? Ezra point. Oh, Tim? Come on, big dick. Command through eight, ten to point. Uh, 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 eight? One hundred and fifty to a hundred that'll make it. Come on, I'm looking for it's about. Well, then, don't get nervous. This is your place, you know. Come on, blow on you. Well, come on, give me some love. Blow on them. <laughs> Here you go. Don't go. miss them. Ah. And the man through eight. Eight to a point. Eight to Don't miss him this evening. Give me that garage you water. Here it comes. Ah. Ten, that's it. That's the point, two five. I shoot the way. Yeah, right. Shoot the way, but I shoot the way. No, 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 no. Get the what you got in that gold. It's all right, I oh, got him. I got him. Come on, shoot the way. Okay, shoot your head off. I'm well, just as you said, Mr. Coffee. We're going to get you. <laughs> Don't miss him this time. Any two nine. Nine. Nine's a point. Nine's my pint. Huh? <laughs> Ain't gonna miss this one. Any, meeny, miny, mo. I made five and I made four. Don't fail me now, little pals of mine. Show that man a big fat nine. <laughs> Ain't gonna miss him this time. <laughs> oh, is he hot? <laughs> well, where's the dice? Come on, throw me the dice here. Don't hold up the game, because you let these dice get... Good evening, Daniel. Good evening, sir. Good. Who said that? Who said that? I did. Who are you? Uncle Ezra. Uncle Ezra who? Uncle Ezra Dewey. Don't you know me? Oh. Oh. Uncle Ezra. I thought you was dead. I am. Well, what you doing here then? I was going to see what all this racket's about. My clock run down. What? What time is it, child? What? I say, what time is it? Look at that. Ain't that something? <laughs> uh, any 
parts of it, all of it. I'm sorry, son, but the bank is busted. <laughs> well, <laughs> everything's over but the shot. <laughs> i tell you what I'll do, boys. I'll make a sporting proposition with you. I'll bet you the house here against what you got in front of you. The house? Well, what you mean, the business and everything? Yes, the house, the business, and everything that goes with it. Everything? Yes, everything. Wait a minute. You, how do you feel about that, Jeff? I don't know, you feel lucky? Uh-huh. You feel that lucky? Maybe. Sure you ain't overshot yourself? Uh-uh. You know what the book says, let well enough alone. And that show looks well enough for me. It do look kind of well, though. Keep the landlady from sweeping around our door for a long time. A whole lot of landladies and a lot of those. Well, make up your mind. Hurry, boys, this suspense is killing me. Uh, does we or does we don't? We don't. Everything. Uh, overruled. We done. Throw them dice. Uh-oh. Boxcar. Yeah, and that's why we be sleeping if you lose. Boxcar. The call of the open road. The life in the wide open spaces. Uh, you know, Mr. Blake, I was just talking to my doctor. My doctor told me to have a whole lot of fresh air. I'd have to have a whole lot of sunshine. So I thought maybe if I'd win this place here, it would keep me cooped up too much, and I wouldn't have no fresh air. So I think we better call the whole thing off. Don't you think so? Yeah, uh, now you're talking, son. Talk yeah, what? talking too much. The best down. Come on, pick up them dice. Now wait, a, now, wait a minute now, Mr. Blake, now wait a minute. Now you told me when we first started this was going to be a friendly game, but now you're talking about real estate and everything like that. Now ain't no use Pick of that. Pick up them dice. Pick up them dice. All right. Uh, this is liable to break up an awful beautiful friendship. But look, brother, uh, uh, give me some room, please. Don't hold me down. Uh, give me that dice, man. Get that dice. Can you all find it? Uh, never mind, brother. Would you give me them dice over there, please? Dice. Dice, your papa talking to you now, dice. Come on. Just, just hit just one more lick for me, will you, dice? Just one more, that's all I ask. Just one more. Just one more time. Tripping catfish, you done it again. Lady Luck, I knew you would. Ah. You can have 
handle women like you can handle dice. Kingdom <laughs> That's the last straw. I'm going in there and clean out this joint. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You don't own this place anymore. You know, there's such a thing as the law, and they've got the law on their side. Got the law on their side. But have they got the law on their side? Say, we've got some thinking to do. What do you mean? Come on, we've got to go into a conference. Right here. 
and I have come back to tell you that we are fully ashamed of you and the way you've been running this place. And we're glad you lost it. If you try to open it up again, we're going to haunt you 24 hours a day as long as you is here. To say nothing of what we'll do to you when you join us in the hereafter. Now get out and keep going. Yes, yes, Uncle Ezra. And you too, you old skin friend. Yes, sir.